another beautiful day. It's actually quite warm outside. Um, the other day with Aubrey cutting logs was alright. That was a fucking workout, I'm telling you. People way back in the day when you had to do manual labor, it's hard work, especially when the wood's green. Plus, I am out of shape and haven't done physical labor in a while, so that's another thing too. But, Fuck, I'm telling you boys, it is fucking impossible to find a job. I start looking for a job and there is nothing to be had. Well, I get up every morning and I look for a job, like any type of like job that could be halfway decent. Nah, fuck, there's nothing going on. My buddy Trevor's been looking for a few months and hasn't even so much gotten a call back. And uh, fucking talk to a few other people and YouTube earnings have shit to bed, so... I'm not the only one in that situation, which kind of sucks. But enough of that drama. Let's have a look at the car where I've been kind of figuring out here. Just been kind of fitting things up inside. And uh, well, it's not quite, not even close to having this in, but this body line won't line up. And I thought about cutting it and making it work, but this isn't going to be a show car, so you'll just have to fucking do because there'll be carpet or something in the back. But I just want to see how that's going to fit because I don't know if that backsplash has to go on first and then these inside corners. Fuck me, this is going to be uh, quite a little challenging little piece here. Look up at the inside of the trunk and you can see that is a big gaping rotten hole in there, so we're going to have to do the same thing on this side. Just cut it all out. Which means we're gonna have to set this back up. We're gonna have to sand this out, get the torch out, heat up all the lead filler like we did on the opposite side. Well, it's not what I wanted to see, but with all that lead in there, somebody obviously didn't repair that hole, but just filled that lead in where it was all rusted. So I got the line now where I'm gonna cut it, but I think I'm just gonna cut that section out and repair it. And while I do that, I might as well do this section too with the pinholes. See right here, that one time there's actually three layers of metal, three separate layers, but this bad boy right here seems to have an inside layer rotted away. So what I'm gonna do right now is fire up the plasma cutter. I'm just gonna cut that little section out so we can patch it up. So we got that sectional cut out right there in the back and this back piece right there is gone too. So now I'm gonna start to form a piece of sheet metal to fit inside there. 
Now, while I haven't been able to find your dad's favorite root beer, whatever it's called, this Mad Jack isn't too bad at all. Tastes like A&W root beer, but I think this stuff get pretty dangerous. Mm. This is good. This is real good. This would be good in like a Slurpee or something. I'm going to end this video so when we come back in the garage, we're going to start welding some shit up. Start patching it. Hopefully have the rear part of the trunk done in a couple weeks. Then we can move to the floor and then the wheel wells. I don't know what's going to happen after that. So stay tuned.